In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can pull in stock information from stocks on the Australian Stock Exchange and how we can completely automate the process. So for example, you can see three Australian stocks here. We've pulled in things like company name, the price, sector, net income, gross profit, and earnings per share. So let's go ahead and show a quick example how this is automated. Let's say that I want to pull in the stock Goodman Group on the Australian Stock Exchange. All I would need to do is type in the ticker GMG right here, type in .ax and hit enter. And then if I highlight all this information here and just drag down these formulas, you can see this stock data is going to automatically load in. So this is a very powerful way to pull in this information. And the method we're gonna to use to pull it in is a function known as ticker data. Now ticker data is a spreadsheet integration tool that I've created, that I've created to automatically pull in stock information from stocks all over the world. For example, obviously in this video, we're pulling in stocks on the Australian Stock Exchange here, but you can see with ticker data, you can pull in information on stocks from all over the world, and you can pull in hundreds of different metrics on these stocks. So this is a very powerful tool. Again, there's a link to ticker data in the description down below. But let's go ahead and talk about how this works. Let's say I delete all of this data right here. For example, if we want the company name of BHP on the Australian Stock Exchange, all I would need to do is type in ticker data live right here. We can come over here and click on bhp.x, add a comma and select company name, close the parentheses and hit enter. And you can see this information is going to automatically load in. We have the company name now. But now maybe I wanna see something like the price. Again, this is a very simple way to pull this in. We'll use the ticker data live function again. We'll select BHP, come over here and select price and close this off and hit enter. And you can see the price for the stock is going to automatically load in once again. Now we'll do the exact same thing with sector. We'll use the ticker data live function. Come over here, select this, and then select sector right here and hit enter. And again, this information is going to automatically load in. Now what's really cool about ticker data as well is when you select things like sector, bhp.ax, you can completely automate the process. So maybe instead of sector, I wanna see industry. If I were to just type industry right here and hit enter, you can see this will automatically update and show the industry instead of the sector now. So again, this is a very powerful tool. Now we've been looking at some key company metrics here, some live data as well with the price, but maybe I wanna pull in historical financial statement metrics as well, things like net income, gross profit, and earnings per share. This isn't current data, maybe we wanna look at it back in like 2019, 2020, or 2021. Well, we can do that with ticker data, and here's how. Instead of using the ticker data live function, we'll just use the ticker data function. We can pull in historical data with this. Again, we'll come over here and select the ticker, and we'll come up here and select net income, but then I'll add another comma, and let's say that I wanna know what their net income was, let's say in 2021. I just type in the year right here, close off the parentheses, and hit enter, and again, you can see this data will automatically load in. We can now see BHP Group Limited, their net income in 2021. We can do the exact same thing for gross profit. I'll use the ticker data function, come over here and select the ticker, select gross profit, and then we'll select 2021 and hit enter, and that data is going to automatically load in as well. Let's do it one more time to pull in the earnings per share. Select the ticker, select earnings per share, and let's select 2021, close the parentheses, and hit enter. So you can see just how easy it is to pull in this stock information for stocks on the Australian Stock Exchange. Now in this example over here, we only pulled in information from the income statement, but again, we have access to things like the balance sheet, statement of cash flows, and other key metrics. So maybe instead of net income, I wanted to see total debt. I could just type out total debt right here and hit enter, and you can see all of this information is going to automatically load in as well. But also you can see if I anchor down the formulas to automatically lock on these metrics right here, what we can do is highlight all this data we just pulled in, drag these formulas down for these three other Australian stock exchange stocks, and you can see this data is going to automatically load in once again. So we have the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, we have Fortescue Metals Group, and we have the Goodman Group. All this same information has automatically been pulled in, and again, we can automatically update what we want to see. So maybe we want to see the company sector. I can type out sector and hit enter, and that will automatically update as well. Maybe I wanna see something like total assets instead of debt. I can type that out here and hit enter and you can see that data again will automatically load in. So using the ticker data function and the ticker data tool is extremely powerful. So if you wanna get access to stock data and tons of different metrics using ticker data with exchanges from all across the world, then you can head over to tickerdata.com at my link in the description. And there you can also get some of my pre-built stock analysis and portfolio tracking templates. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.